is up, you beautiful people? I am back with another pickup video, and I know it's only been a week since I did my last pickup video, so what the heck is this? Um, I actually had a package come in from my man McFly uh, from his brand new video game store that he's opening um, out in Indiana. Uh, McFly's 8th Avenue. If you haven't checked it out, do yourself a favor and just go check it out. I will leave a link to his uh, store page down in the description below. Check it out, the guy's got some crazy good prices. Uh, which is why I kind of want to make this video to show you guys what I got from him uh, and a few other things that I picked up from Thrift and Kijiji and GameStop, whatever, uh, later on. So, I won't wait uh, too much longer here. Uh, but yeah, like I said, check out McFly. Uh, I will leave a link to his channel and his store page down below. Uh, check him out. The guy is a freaking legend. Um, so, uh, he had to, he's selling some of his, uh, his collection. Um, and as many of you know, it's very hard to find cartridge games up here in the Great White North at decent prices. So it's actually cheaper to buy them from him and pay shipping to get it up here. Or it, it actually comes up to less than it would be just to buy it here. Um, as sad as that is, that's how our, our video game market is, especially uh, where I live. So uh, I know he, he made a comment of so many, so many packages going up to Canada. Well, McFly, that, that's why. Because <laughs> you're still cheaper than anything up here, so. Uh, that being said, I picked up some NES and some N64 games, and I was sure, I'm sure I'm going to buy more at some point. Um, but I will show you, show you what I got here. I got, uh, I'll go the, through the uh, NES games first. So the first one we got is uh, Dick Tracy. Uh, if you want to check out prices, like I said, check out his uh, page. Um, I believe these are still listed there, they just say sold out because I have them. Uh, but if you really, really want to see what I paid for it, you can go check it out there. Uh, so yeah, Dick Tracy. Uh, Adventures of Dino Ricky, Dino Ricky, Dino Ricky, uh, Destination Earth Star. I think it, I always want to say Spar, but it's Star. It looks like Spar. Um, Alf Mission. Good old SMKs. Uh, another Capcom game. I don't think I have this actually. I might have made a mistake and bought this a, a second time, but I, I don't think I have it. It's uh, the Disney Adventures in the Magic Kingdom. Uh, good old Capcom title. Uh, and two that I was really excited for, uh, Defender of the Crown, good old Ultra logo, and this one I have heard recommended by both McFly uh, and the Crack Jesus, telling me that this is definitely a must-have on the NES. So um, I grabbed it, and it is The Adventures of Lolo. Um, I, I had to have it. I, everyone's been praising this game, so I need to try it out for myself. So uh, thank you, McFly, for those. Can't wait to add those to my collection. And then the N64 games I got. Um, some good old racing games, that's what the N64 is good at. Uh, Ridge Racer 64, um, I've heard this one is decent, so I'm really looking forward to playing that. This one I've heard is great, and I haven't been able to find it for, again, any cheaper than when I got it from McFly's 8-Bit Avenue. Uh, Beetle Adventure Racing, um, I've heard this game is actually super fun, uh, so at some point I hope to play this. Um, maybe I'll get some of my friends to play with me, that should be pretty fun. And what I think is like the cream of the crop, uh, Castlevania 64. Uh, again, heard great things about this game, can't wait to play it. Um, I suck at Castlevania, but I think this one's a little bit different than the other ones, so hopefully I'll do better at it at some point, hopefully. Um, yes, those are awesome. Like I said, check him out on his page down below uh, and his store page down below, all listed down there. So. All right, I'm gonna go into uh, my one value village find for the week. Uh, it's nothing great. It's actually just for resale. I picked up uh, Wii Sports Resort. Uh, picked it up for five bucks. Uh, that value village that had everything marked at three bucks is now marking everything at five bucks. Go figure. Uh, they kind of go up and down, but still for five bucks, that'll go nicely on eBay. Um, actually, I'll throw these in here because why not? Um, I, I mentioned this on a couple of Facebook groups. Be sure when you're out looking at uh, looking for video games and stuff. I'm sure everyone knows this already, but I'm going to say it again in case there's you know new people watching. Uh, when you're looking out for video games and stuff at thrift stores, don't just look for video games because buying video games all the time can be freaking expensive. I'm sure many of you know this. Um, so keep your mind open for other things that you could possibly sell. Um, Guitar Hero controllers for the Xbox 360 sell like crazy on eBay. Um, which I found two of those, but I can show you because everyone knows what they look like. Um, <clears throat> I picked out um, one of these at Value Village. 
It's the Rock Band adapters. Uh, Canadian Retro talks about these all the time. Picks them up and sells them. They're worth like easily 20 bucks. Um, this was in it as well. I thought this wasn't gonna be worth anything, but it turns out I'm really wrong. Uh, it's the Guitar Hero guitar adapter. Receiver for the uh, PS3, I think, or PS2, whatever. I think they both work for both. Um, I thought it, this one wasn't gonna be worth anything. If it's the drum one, it's worth like 20 bucks. This one, for some reason, is worth like 50 or 60 bucks. Because it has a dual USB guitar, I don't freaking know. But whatever, that's gonna be nice in my pocket when that sells. And then, um, and I found those together in a package for like four bucks. So, like I said, they don't know what they are. Grab them, sell them, put them up on eBay. Add it to your PayPal account. Add it to your, your own physical wallet. Get more money to spend on either video games or whatever. Like if you need money in life, you know, that's good for that too. Um, and I found this, which is pretty sweet. I've never seen one of these before. Uh, not like this. It's a TI-83 Plus uh, brand new calculator. Uh, this was 10 bucks, totally worth it. It'll sell for easily 60 or 70 bucks. Um, I'm gonna have to cut, probably cut the batteries out of this because they look very expired and like, leaking. So, but whatever, I'll, I'll cut those out and then sell this easily online and make all my money back. So, and plus, and it will pay for you know, everything else I bought this week. Um, again, in my job, went, went uh, down to Brantford, uh, had a look in some of the stores down there, and um, I, thought, I talked about this in my last video, I found another one uh, this week, and it's another, uh, another Contra 4, um, which is ridiculous, again, 10 bucks for this, it's freaking nuts, I can't believe that no one's bought this, it's just sitting there, so uh, that's going to be going to my friend, uh, who, so we can play some multiplayer on that, and then one EB Games purchase, um, a lot of people talking about like Bayonetta 2 being rare and hard to find right now, it's not, it's still everywhere in my stores. Um, I don't know if I should be buying them all up, but then I'm going to be that guy. Um, but this game I haven't seen, I've seen it only a few times, and this is the only one I've seen in my region. Uh, so I figured I would jump on it now while I still can, and that is Game & Wario. Um, everyone knows the WarioWare series, it's in the same vein as that. Uh, just like fun little mini games. Um, me and my friends have a lot of fun playing Nintendo Land, uh, like cheap cheesy games like that. Nintendo Land's like a huge underrated gem on that system. Everyone just kind of like, I don't know, chalked it up to be like just a packing game, get rid of it. But it's actually a lot of fun. You get some five players, you play that Ghost, you play that uh, Animal Crossing, or that Mario Chase. Like those are some pretty fun games if you've got enough people around there and are in a good mood, so it's pretty fun. So I'm hoping it's the same going to be with this thing. Um, if not, I'm still happy to have it. Wario is a goon. Um, <clears throat> and then this, all right. I wasn't exactly sure how I felt about this. Um, early reports of this game, it looked cool. I remember seeing advertising was a long time ago. Um, I contemplating pre-ordering it from Amazon during the E3 bundle de deal thing, um, <clears throat> which I should have done. But at that point, reviews were out and this game looked like, looked terrible. So I was just like, eh, I don't know if I'm gonna get that. Um, and then suddenly it came out and bam, it's gone. It's like super rare to find now. Um, so I've been keeping my eye out for like a used one. Um, just happened. I spent a couple weeks going around to all the EB games and GameStops asking for it. I thought I had a few lined up. They were sold or they were held for someone else, so it never really worked out. Um, by now you probably all figured out what game it is. Uh, but I found this on Kijiji for like five bucks more than retail. Um, I guess someone just wanted it. Maybe they got it for that E3 price. And so I paid for like five bucks more than retail price, so whatever, I'm okay with it. Uh, and like I said, I spent money that I had from Kijiji uh, and, and eBay, so it's essentially free money for this. Uh, so I'm happy to, to try it out. And it's a brand new copy of Devil's Third. Crazy, I haven't opened it yet. Um, I hear very polarizing reviews and opinions on this. It's either a lot better than people think it is, or it's absolute crap and I shouldn't play it. And I can't believe I spent so much money on this. Um, but honestly, it's something I really want to try for myself. Um, I did have one question I'm going to throw to you guys. If any of you guys know anything about this, I would appreciate an answer. At the back, you know, where it shows you, like, controllers and stuff? It shows a keyboard. What the hell is this keyboard? Can you use mouse and keyboard on this? That's OP if you can. Like, seriously, that's OP. Um, but whatever. I'm going to try it out at some point. Um, I find, I'm going to find it hard to open that, but I'm, I am going to open it. I'm going to play it. Uh, it's not going to be something to sit in my collection and just collect dust because of value. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So, 
Oh, like I said, a huge thank you to uh, McFly3077. Go check him out. Links are in the description. Um, and that's going to do it for this video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.